This guy right here is about to get knocked up. Out. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is how to be an MLG COD. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am the Mint, and today I bring you a video of Black Ops 3, but I want to talk about, within the commentary, talk about the leaks on social media based around Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Remastered Multiplayer. And this was basically actual gameplay. It wasn't a trailer. It was a gameplay. And I have to say, before I get started, I have to say that I am not gaining or losing anything by giving you an honest review. I am a small YouTube channel, and I believe that the bigger YouTubers within the Call of Duty community, they're not going to give you a full honest review. They might give you a more of a positive review over a honest critique of the game and I'm here to give you guys from what I saw because I saw multiple clips of multiple footage and I wanted to give you my perspective based around those clips which you can find there's multiple youtubers that have already released um you know links in the description to you know all that stuff that has been linked uh you know those clips and everything um, and I'm for some reason I'm having issues with my Elgato and it seems like it lags sometimes. It's kind of weird, but yeah, I've been trying to work on fixing that. But anywho, um, so I want to give you guys my honest perspective and review on this uh, thing. So I want to get started by saying I feel like the game Infinite Warfare has been copy and pasted from Black Ops 3. Um, on multiple levels and you can you can you'll see it when you see the reveal trailer you'll see if you actually know this information ahead of wise or in advance you'll know that this is basically a copy and paste of black ops 3 so what I'm saying is if you like infinite warfare or if you like black ops 3 you're going to like infinite warfare uh, it's okay for them to copy and paste call of duty remastered because they needed to do that to adjust the graphics so that's legit so I'm not concerned or pissed about that that's something that they needed to do they can't just make the game all over again that's a waste of time but when it comes to infinite warfare that's supposedly is supposed to be a new game it looks like a copy and paste of black ops 3 uh, it feels like the water or the movement system is slightly watered down or dumbed down, I guess, in a way, just to cater to some of the people that don't like the movement system as much, but it's still there. There's still that insane verticality that's not structured well based on the maps that they give you or provide in Call of Duty. That's why it irritates my eyes. That's why I don't play the game for an extended period of time anymore because it does actually irritate my eyes. Um... So that's basically that. It's uh, a copy and paste of Black Ops 3. And I'm not saying it's going to be complete ass. And I'm not saying that Black Ops 3 is complete ass. Because I do like Black Ops 3. There's just things in Black Ops 3 that I do not like. Unfortunately. And there are things that I'm going to despise and hate in Infinite Warfare. But I, I don't know. I still can't determine if I'm going to get the actual game. Um, the only thing on a very small, minute scale or percentage, I'm considering buying Infinite Warfare to get Call of Duty Remastered. But I doubt I'm going to get it because there's so many other games that are coming out that seem so much more well made. Um, where they actually seem to care and cater to the community. Uh, comparing that to the Call of Duty community and their, the developers within Call of Duty and their publishers in Call of Duty that really don't care as much about the fans. They're more in in the business of money. And it's, you know, I'm not going to bash on them for trying to make money, but it's just, you know, at least consider one or maybe two things that the community is asking because, I mean, uh, I'm kind of really done with the whole advanced movement system I would love to see a boots on the ground game you know I mean yes and then people are saying well play a Call of Duty Remastered well I mean what about the new game you know like why can't the new game be boots on the fucking ground you know I mean uh, they wouldn't even have to make Call of Duty Remastered and put bundle them together if Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was boots on the ground and they actually surprised us this year with boots on the ground but no uh, 
And then the news is apparently there's going to be more, um, you know, futuristic crap coming for the next few years. I'm I'm leaving the franchise. I don't like Call of Duty anymore because they won't cater to the fans. Uh, there's a small percentage of people there are, you know, for extreme new advanced movement system, but most people would be in favor of boots on the ground. At least that's what I heard throughout YouTube and different channels. A lot of people were complaining, we want boots on the ground and blah, blah, blah. But anywho, um, so just to recap, yeah, Infinite Warfare is basically um, copy and paste of Black Ops 3. And the be uh, the visually the best example that I can give you, if there's a pizza with pepperoni on it, and Black Ops 3 is a pepperoni pizza with 25 pepperonis on it, Infinite Warfare is still the same pepperoni pizza, except it has 30 or 35 pepperonis on it. That's the only difference, and I'm kind of disappointed in a way. I'm still going to ch probably check out the uh, you know reveal trailer, but I don't know. I'm kind of I'm disappointed, basically. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not revolting against you know call of duty i'm just disappointed i feel like i feel like i've been stabbed in the back that's how i feel that's that's my honest like opinion on that and when it comes to call of duty remastered it actually looks really interesting the the, the menus look like they re, rechanged or changed up the menus basically so when you first enter the game and all that kind of stuff and when you're changing up your loadouts and classes it looks a little bit different so they changed that a little bit which is not an issue overall the gameplay on that looks pretty cool um you know it just it looks nice uh so i'm i'm kind of excited for call of duty remastered infinite warfare i'm very disappointed about so those are my reactions my thoughts my opinions and basically that's all i gotta say and yeah uh i am the mitten these are my honest opinions in my honest review on infinite warfare you know hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button if you didn't hit that dislike button leave me a comment why i try to get back to you and you know because i like i like debates and criticism within the comment se section i like people to be open and talk about it you know so you know it helps the channel grow it helps the community grow if we all did that and if you want obviously subscribe because i try to bring every day I try to bring new content, information, and all that kind of stuff. Decent gameplay and everything. So, yeah. But, anywho, I am the Mitten. Hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay. Hopefully you enjoyed my commentary. Peace.